Bill Murphy's Gata. He's back on the show. Welcome back, Bill. Long time. Thanks for having me back, Daniel. Good to see you. So since uh, we last spoke, a lot has happened here. We're at the VRIC. Uh, huge turnout, about 7,000 people. Should we be running for the hills or what do we do? I heard it was even more than that. I, I'm absolutely stunned. I'm thrilled to see it because gold and silver are deadsville, really. And if they can get this much kind of interest with really not that much going on, especially in silver and the shares, what it tells me that there's all kind of money getting ready to come into our sector. Well, gold's been having a good rally here, Bill. I mean, it's up, uh, you know, what, 5% right. and, uh, since the end of the year? Yeah, it's, well, it's gone up, you know, you know, from 1240 to 1340 straight, but yeah. it's been very dull. The gold cartel keeps selling. The open interest has gone up at an unprecedented rate on the COMEX, which means what we call the gold cartel, the bad guys are doing everything they can to stop the price. Well, others would argue, well, it's just the euphoria that we're seeing people, you know, stick to the stock market and, and less interest in safe haven here. Well, I mean, people can look at it any way they want, but when you see the open interest on the COMEX do what it is, and you see gold go up, dink, 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 and the open interest go up 100,000 contracts, somebody's trying to stop it, and it's working. And of course, silver is a joke. Where do you think they should both be trading at right now? Well, it's a question of they ought to be trading like other markets with all the money that's come into the system. The two of the markets that should be on fire are gold and silver. And, and you know, it's, you know, when you look at where we were six and seven years ago, it's nothing. And silver at 17, one third of where it was 38 years ago at its high. So do you have any optimism? Do you think this is going to change? Absolutely. I think we're going to have a spectacular year. The money's going to come into our sector. The momentum traders that have made a lot of money and all the other markets are going to come in. The gold cartel is going to get overpowered and gold and silver are going to explode. And I think if silver, which there's something very wrong there, when it gets above 21, it will actually trade a little bit like Bitcoin and it's going to go bonkers. So yes, I'm very excited, but I'm sick and tired of dealing with the gold cartel and what they're doing. Okay, speaking of Bitcoin, what are your thoughts? What does Bill Murphy think of the cryptos? Well, it was a year ago. I was at a Jeff Berwick conference in Acapulco and the crypto crowd was all excited because the Bitcoin got to the same price as gold as 1240. 12.40. And then it goes at 19,000. Congrats to those people. Uh, I wish them all the best. I don't have any clue where it's going to go, but uh, I do know that some of that money is already coming into the precious metals just from talking to dealers at this conference. So people who are losing interest in the cryptos and coming back into the metal space? No, they've made so much money. They're just no, taking... They're buying, they're taking their profits selling? Just some of the profits. They're just taking out some of the profits and putting it into gold and silver, yes. All right, Bill Murphy, thanks so much for coming by. Danielle, thank you.